There's a lot of great things about CoSPSD, and in this video we'll be looking at one in particular, that's Station Tweak. It was introduced in CoSPSD 10.1 and is a fork of Mate Tweak. Right, we're on the main desktop of GhostBSD, and if we go to System, then Preferences, Look and Feel, and down to Station Tweak, we'll fire up this handy little utility. And as you can see, there are three main options with some subset options presented. So we've got Desktop Interface and Windows. So we choose the top one, which is desktop, and there's an option to, as you can see, make icons appear and disappear. So you've got computer one, home, trash, and mounted volumes if you have any. So you can make it really clean, or introduce or leave out the ones that you don't want. Kind of simple, but very handy actually. Next, we have the interface. And you can show icons in menus and show icons on buttons and stuff like that. So in the menu, normally there's some icons down the side. If you untick show icons in menu, you can guess what it does. That's right, it just gets rid of the icons. And show icons on buttons. Uh, if you go down to say log out, the normal thing is to show some icons next to the buttons there. If we untick that and go down to the option again, and we just get the text. Some may prefer the icons, some may prefer just the text. And this gives you the chance to tailor it to how you want it, actually. Pretty cool. Then we've got the panel layout. So you've got Mate, Windows, Elements, Classy, Purity, and Netbook. I'm not quite sure what each one is meant to be, but you can guess what the first few are. The window is one will give you a pseudo window type interface for your menu. It's uh, very nice. The next one is Element. Uh, by the looks of it, it looks like a uh, Apple, a MacOS. Uh, I could be wrong on that, of course, but it, I'm just going by the dock at the bottom. So it's all very nice and neat. Saves you from having to configure it yourself, which is quite handy, actually. The next one is Classy. Again, with a dock, so uh, this could be the Mac one. Ah, I see. This one gives you the full screen. It's almost like, uh, I don't know what operating system is like. Is it like a uh, Chrome OS? I don't know. Leave a comment in the section down below to uh, enlighten me. But that's pretty cool. Very unusual, but it's cool. Next is Purity, which, uh, let's zoom in there, gives you a menu at the bottom. And so really I'm not sure which one this is meant to be inspired by. If anyone knows, then uh, leave a comment. And then we've got Netbook, which uh, really is just uh, is a basic menu at the top. Very good. And of course, you can customize it and save your own uh, panel layout if you wish. The developer, Eric, says that he's going to be introduced into more different types. So uh, we'll look forward to that indeed. And you can show input methods and context menus. And again, the tool that I've shown you there. So it's, it's not too bad. You can change the uh, button labels. So you can have the text besides items, etc. And... Icon size at the bottom. Next is the windows. And this one gets a little bit funky. Normally when you drag a window around, the context will move with it. If you tick this, it becomes a empty box. Untick that. And normally around each window you will see a shadow and that's down to the compositing. You can disable that of course. And so it speeds things up just like the empty box method does. And yeah. Whether or not you like it with 
compositing on or off is uh, personal preferences and really down to system performance. If your system is laggy, then disabling it is uh, perhaps an option. It really does speed things up, but you lose some of the aesthetics. You can change the buttons, or normally they're on the right. You can change them to the left if you wish. And just take that and uh, reset that back before I forget. And you can change the window manager if you've got others installed. You can change the window manager that you want to use for your windows. And of course, it closes it when it resets. Let's get it again. Station tweak there. So, yeah, it's a handy little tool. Something which I think that most people would skip over. Um, certainly, they skip over it when they do reviews. But I think it's something which should be mentioned. I think it's uh, something that could make a difference to an older system. Get rid of the compositing. Tweak things out to suit your own tastes. And really uh, try and make GhostBSD something of your own. Anyway, this was only a short video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.